Hamza are here and welcome to GoTech UEG. GoTech UG is a channel where I basically help you to create a better online presence. And if it's your first time to this blog, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new amazing content I'll be putting out. In this video, I am going to show you how to create and reuse page templates in Elementor Page Builder. Let's dive straight in. Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to create our first page template with Elementor page building plugin. So we head over Elementor after logging into our website backend, still at the dashboard, there is a folder called Elementor and templates. So we head over to Elementor templates, then we create a new page. So we can say add new. On saying add new, it bring uh, Elementor brings up this uh, pop up which enables us to create any type of template we want to create. You can create from pages, sections, pop ups, headers, footers, and others. So today we are making one. Today we are creating one for a page. So let's create our page template. We can give it a name we want. Let's name it. Uh, vlog demo create template some of the things that we are able to create with our page template are a number of them and that will include, you know, slides, um, uh, post archives, you know, animations. We can create a number of things with the page templates inside Elementor because we are given a couple of sections or elements that we can embed into our page and we have something out and working for us. So let's head straight to the settings button somewhere down there and then you select the layout we want for now since we are creating everything from scratch i want us to use the elementor canvas so the elementor canvas will make our whole work area blank and so we can create uh, something from zero so basically we are going to create a similar page home page or a would be home page for someone starting out however i want to just show you how you can have elements within your canvas to make up your full page so this comes up which helps us to set up our canvas uh, when we select the page layout as elementor canvas it comes blank so we can say add we can select the layout of how our page would like it to look like as you see them here that's how they will actually that's how it will actually display once you select so for now we are going to select the wide one or the full um, the one column layout and then we will select um, probably slides on our first page we can search for something like slide and then we drag it there then we can customize the slide we want we can further customize how we want our slide to look like oh, it looks like something is not right slides okay something is not right ah super it comes so this is this is basically uh, a slide plate that comes by default in Elementor and we can change a couple of things. We can change the color of how this is looking like. We can change the content, you know, instead of slide one, we can say home page, home page, slide, you know, home page slide one. And we can also change 
whatever is inside you know in the in the in the content box and also also the click so we can say uh, more details so the same you can do for all the other you know slides you know slides that are in this slide element so you can still do the changes to the color you can choose whatever color you want and a couple of things if you don't want any color you can leave it blank and choose an image um, you can select an image that you want or you wish to use somewhere there so you can say okay let me just insert this i hope it is the right dimensions okay uh, either way it works so then we can also change our content because now the the image has a white background so our content doesn't appear anywhere so we can customize our content color you know and then you can say title description typography color we can say we put it in black or we can select any other color that can easily you know um, stand out here or we can easily make our background our image with a very small um, we can make it that it, it has an overlay color or overlay background color by choosing that color and making it a little bit darker so something like that you can choose be black something like yeah and then we have our image there and also our text uh, looking on top like appearing on top and very clear so that is to do with the slides we can again add another section we can add another section um, still white we can say in this section we want to actually not white let's try to choose another layout um, we can say yeah like two columns and then this column we can have something to do with let me say what can it be um, we can say text text in this column and then we can uh, have on the other in the other column we can have let me say maybe a video you know a video from whatever source so we can say search for it here video and we have video here so um since now it looks like it looks like our column is actually uh, our section is actually very much nearer to the to the other section before we can give it a padding you know of we can give the contents inside the padding so that it's not too much fixed to the other so we can give it like a 50 top and 50 bottom um, we can change the video settings and link to any video that we have or we wish to link to we can do a couple of things from down here change you know um, you know the source of the video and a number of other things and also we can also customize on how our text is appearing or where it should because now i think it should it looks better when it's centered in the middle so we can say vertical align middle and our text will move to the middle we can also give uh, say a little bit of padding so that the text doesn't look like it's you know matching on the on the very edges you know of the layout but still here it looks looks fine looks really fine so we can either duplicate this same section that if we want to have the same layout or we can still go ahead and create another one we can have one like this this section where the right where the left hand column is smaller to the right hand column so we can select that and then we can pick up a small heading you say like heading heading title animated headline something like that and then this side we can you know fetch a few blog posts that we that we have appearing on our blog that can be um let me say this portfolio and then we can we can select 
how many we want to appear and how they will appear so we can say we can leave it we can give it full so that all the images appearing clearly and then we can um, we can give them now we can select like maybe only uh, we need only two columns and then we need only four posts you know and then we can say we can say we need some kind of image ratio smaller so that doesn't doesn't look too big at the same time we can also give a styling you know the gap between columns you know and also the rows so that everything looks a little bit neat at the same time we can have this this title element to be centered the vertical using the vertical align so you can say have it in the middle so a couple of things so let's see how it looks in the preview so the preview will basically give us how it will look like even when we publish so we have our slider our slider here then we have our first section and then we have a number of our recently published blog posts that someone can just click click on and they are easily uh, taken over to the blog page so that's it for having creating your first uh, layout though now we can also change the canvas since we had uh, selected the elementor canvas we can use a full elementor full width canvas so with the default or the elementor full width will bring over the headers and footers that we already created you know in elementor you can create headers and footers and assign them site wide and uh, whatever you create will have those headers and footers so now in this case our page will now have our header and then you know the slider this is the home page and then it will have you know the other content section and also our recent blogs and then the once you are satisfied with all that you wanted to do on your page template from adding a number of columns sections and elements you know a number of elements from you know the element box you know there are a number of them that you can always add then you are ready to go you have to save as a draft so that you can make changes any other time in case you are unable to get everything fixed or else when everything is fine you can save it as a template so when you save as a template it will bring up this option box and then you have to name the template so we can say vlog demo then we save the template this means that we can use this same template we created on different pages that we have in Elementor or on our website so we can easily at any period of in time create a new page and we just insert the template that we created so guys congratulations on creating your first page template in Elementor in the next video I'll show you how to create headers footers and a couple of other pages like blog and archive pages don't forget to like this video if you like it and if you're new here don't forget to click on the subscribe button and on the bell button so that you can receive a notification whenever i put out new content i wish you well guys